Is the media really ever objective? Or are they just actors playing off a script? This is a weapon of mass slaughter. Heavy weapons. I said heavy weapons. They are effectively machine guns. Semi-automatic, the weapons of war. Stop playing us for idiots. We're non-elites, not stupid. And you shouldn't allow people to talk to you like that and make you feel like you're crazy for wanting to defend yourself with the best means possible. They're not there. You have to be the person to decide what's the best thing for you. If you don't think an AR-15 is the best way to protect yourself, by all means, don't get an AR-15. But don't tell me that I can't get one because I think it's the best way to protect myself. Stop trying to force feed us this gun control agenda. Just recently, there was a school shooting in Atlanta that was stopped by an armed guard, yet we heard nothing about it. Now, why is that? Could it be because when the NRA advocated armed guards in schools, the media gawked at the thought and said it will never work. Yet here we are with a real world example and the media just ignores it. We're getting mixed reports of exactly where this guy is. Yet when they heard there was a school shooting in Houston, oh, they swarmed. And they tried everything they could to make it more than it was. But when they realized it was simply two people getting into an argument that went overboard, they didn't care anymore. There wasn't enough blood. This isn't journalism. It's opportunistic propaganda. You're reporters, not lawyers. I have co-sponsored a bill to limit the number of rounds in a magazine, background checks at gun shows, ban assault weapons. Universal background checks is a proven, effective step we can take to reduce gun violence. And shame on every senator that says that any of these laws could save a life. Because laws don't save lives. People save lives. So enough of these lawmakers sitting up there on the bench acting like interrogators when they don't have a clue. It's all an act. They'll pound on the table, act mad, and make people think they're actually doing something. Senators don't save lives. The federal government doesn't save lives. And Barack Obama didn't kill Osama bin Laden. Navy SEALs with guns did. Joe Biden, you don't have the right to tell me how to choose how I protect myself and which gun I decide to use to protect myself. Because quite frankly, when that storm hits, guess who won't be there? You. How dare you? That's arrogance at its finest. You won't even be there. Since these political know-it-alls want to tell me what they think I don't need to protect myself with, I want these same people to go down to the border for just one night. And if the cartel members come, I'll give them three options. A cell phone to call the police, a revolver, and an AR-15. Then see how you feel about assault weapons when drug cartel members are dumping AR-15 and AK-47 rounds straight at you. No bodyguards, no gated neighborhoods, just you and someone trying to kill you. That is reality in America.